Hello and welcome back. Let's go ahead and let's restart working on our API and add some more functionalities to it like filtering, sorting, etc. So in next few lectures, we are going to implement some advanced API features like filtering, sorting, pagination, grouping, etc. to our API. In this lecture, we are going to start with filtering movie data. So we are going to allow users to basically filter data using query string. And we have already learned what a query string is. So if you are watching this course from beginning, then in lecture 11 and in lecture 17, I have covered what are query strings and how we can read and use them in our Express app. But if you have skipped those lectures or if you are directly coming to this lecture, then let me briefly explain you what a query string is. So here I'm in the postman. Let's go to this get all movies. So here we are specifying a URL and when we make a get request to this URL, in the result, we are going to get all the movies which we have in the movies collection in the MongoDB database. Now with the URL, if we want, we can also send some data to the server. So for example, let's say with this URL, I also want to send some data like let's say duration equals 90 and let's say I also want to send another data maybe ratings equal 4.5 okay so in the URL when we specify this question mark after that question mark whatever we specify that is called as a query string and a query string is basically a key value pair here this duration is the key and for this key the value is 90 then this ratings is the key and for this key, this 4.5 is its value. And we are separating two query strings using this end operator. And here it should be a single end and not double. Okay, so basically here with this URL, we are also sending some extra data to the server using the query string. And we specify a query string after this question mark. So what we want here is when I'm passing this query string duration equal to 90 and ratings equal to 45. Instead of getting all the movies in the result, we want to filter the movie data based on the duration and ratings. And we only want to have those movies in the result whose duration is 90 minutes and whose rating is 4.5. So basically we are going to specify the filters in the URL itself using the query string. So from Express, we need a way of reading these query strings. And that's very simple. If I Go to VS Code. Here we have this get all movies API. Okay, so here let's say we want to get all the query strings which we have specified in the URL. That's very simple. On the request object, we have a property called query, and this query is basically an object which stores the query strings as the key value pair. Let me actually show you that. So let me go ahead and let me log this in the console. All right, let's save the changes and let's go ahead and let's run the server.js app. So here I will say node space server.js. Okay, so the server has started. And let's go to Postman. And from here, let's make a request with this URL. So in this URL, first we are specifying the endpoint for get all movies API. And after that, we are also specifying two query strings. If I go ahead and if I make a get request here by clicking on the send button, in the result, we are still going to receive all the movies because currently we have not implemented the filter logic. So we are going to get all the movies. But if I go to VS Code, there in the console, you will see an object logged. And for that object, you can see the duration is 90 minutes and the ratings is 4.5. So basically, this query property of this request object it is going to store an object and in that object, we are going to have all the query strings as a key value pair. Now also notice that all these values are string values. So when we want to use these query string values, we need to convert them to a proper data type. Now the next question is how we can use these query strings to filter movie data. Well, in the introduction to MongoDB lecture, we learned that to this find method, we can also pass a filter object. And inside this filter object, we can specify the fields by which we want to filter the data. Right. So here we want to filter the data by duration field. 
and here the duration field should be request dot query dot duration so in this query object we are going to have a duration property as you can see here when we will pass this duration as a query string right and currently it is of type string so here we need to convert it to number for that we can simply use a plus like this in the same way we can also specify another filter for example ratings and again we can say request dot query dot ratings so instead of duration we can call it ratings so if you notice this object this filter object it has a duration field with some value and it has a rating fields with some value and here also we have an object where we have a duration field with some value and we have a ratings field with some value the only difference here is that here we are passing some number values right but here we have the values as string so here instead of writing a filter object like this we can also pass request dot query right now let's save the changes here and let's test it out so let's go to postman and here so what we want is we want to filter this last movie object so for the duration i'm going to specify 118 and here the ratings is 7 let's specify the ratings as 7 so now if i go ahead and if i make a request a get request to this url where we have also specified the duration and ratings in the result we should have one movie so here you can see the length is one and in this movie the duration if you see it is 118 minutes so the same which we have specified here and ratings here is seven so the same which we have specified here in the query string so our filter is working as expected here what has happened is when we have passed this request.query there this 118 and this 7 there are string values but internally they will be converted to the proper data type now there is also another way to achieve the same thing and that is by using mongoose special methods so what i will do is i will copy this line of code from here and i will also comment it okay let's go ahead and let's paste it here from here let's remove this filter object and now what we can do is we can use mongoose special methods for example if you want to filter by duration here we can chain another method called where and there we can specify the filter name it is going to be duration and here we want to check the equality so if the duration equals request dot query dot duration we can also move it to a separate line like this so here we are checking for duration then we can add another where method and there we can specify another field so this time it is going to be ratings and then let's again use the equals method and then let's specify the value so value we can get from request dot query dot ratings okay so this is another way let's go ahead and let's test it out so let me save the changes here let's go to the postman so again if i go ahead and if i make a get request to the same url we should receive the same movie object in the response where the duration is 118 and ratings is 7 if i click on the send button you see here also we are receiving the same movie object where the duration is 118 minutes and ratings is 7 but in this approach which we are using here we have one problem and the problem is if i don't specify the query string here so if i remove it from here and now if i make a request you see in the response we are not receiving anything that's because in this case we are not using this approach in a proper way and i will explain how we can use this approach in a proper way so that when we don't specify the query string in that case it will return all the movie data and i will explain it in detail in the coming lectures for now let's go ahead and let's comment this line of code and let's uncomment this one let's go ahead and let's save the changes here and in this case if i go to postman 
if we don't specify the query string and if I click on the send button, it is going to return us all the movie objects. So here you can see we have the length as eight. But if I go ahead and if I specify a query string, so here again, I'm setting the duration as 118 minutes and rating as seven. If I click on the send button, in that case, we are receiving only one movie object in the response. Okay, so this approach where we are using this fine method and where we are passing this request.query, this approach is working as expected, but it is not going to work in all the scenarios. Okay, this implementation here, it is not going to work in all the scenarios. For example, later in this course, we will also pass query parameters like sort for sorting or page for pagination. But these are not the properties of the movie object, right? So in that case, this implementation will not work. For example, if I go to the postman and if I specify some more query strings like sort equals one, that means let's say we want to sort it in ascending order and page equals maybe 12. So we want to show page number 12. If I click on the send button and if we go to VS code, there you see along with duration and ratings, we also have sort and page. So in such scenarios, this approach here might not work. Currently, we have not got any errors. So it is still returning one movie object where the duration is 118 minutes and ratings is seven. So here we have not received any errors, but in some other scenario, we might face some issue. So here, this implementation is not an ideal implementation because here when we are passing a filter object here, that filter object also contains some properties which does not exist on the movie data, right? So maybe for example, if I go back to Postman again and here I don't specify the, let's say ratings and duration. I only specify sort and page. So basically we want to get all the movie documents in the response, but I want them to be sorted in ascending order. And I want to see the movie data, which we have in page number 12. So here we are passing some query strings, which does not exist as a field on the movie data. So here, if I click on the send button, so here we are receiving all the movies data. So that is working as we want it to work. So that's great. We don't have any errors here. That's maybe because I'm using Mongoose 7.0, which is the latest one. But I think if you use Mongoose 5 or Mongoose 6, in that case, you might see some errors here. Okay, so Mongoose team might have improved it in Mongoose 7.0. So that is a great thing. But in case, if you're using Mongoose 5.0 or 6.0 or 4.0, in that case, this will not work for you. So in that case, you will need a way to remove these extra query string fields from this query object. So for example, in this scenario, we want to pass a filter object to this fine method where we only want to have duration and ratings. We don't want to have sort and page. So we want to eliminate these two fields and then we want to pass that object. Okay. In the same way here, we don't want to pass this object to this fine method because here we want to eliminate sort and page. Here, we want to pass an empty object to this find method so that this find method will find all the documents from the collection. So let's see how we can do that in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.